Alright, what's going on guys? It's Almond. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. In today's video, we're going to be going over a new character, well, skin that you can unlock for uh, a certain character. So we're going to be going over that and then we're going to be talking about uh, just co-op in general. So if you do enjoy this type of content, make sure you do leave a like on this video and make sure you do subscribe. Helps me as a content creator and make sure you do turn on your notifications so you guys don't miss any uh, upcoming videos. And yeah, let's get into it. So there's a new skin that you can unlock. Um, I don't even remember what's the skin just because I'm I'm just talking right now I'm through my editing software so I don't even see the footage but you guys will see there's a new skin that you can unlock uh, the mission is not too bad as well uh, it's, I'm glad that they added this um, it says it's from season 3 but I've been checking co-op ever since like uh, for like a long time honestly and I haven't seen the skin and I don't know why it's coming back now after so long because if it's been since season 3 we're already in season 6 so it's like I mean season five or I, do, I don't even know what season we're in oh my god uh, I think we're in, yeah we're in season five uh, but we'll see what they do um, if they're gonna keep updating co-op like this type of deal or if they're gonna be giving us new weapons because if you guys remember whenever we got the old uh, Jaeger skin back in the day um, we got a new skin and then like a week after that we got a new bison variant and um, toxic remains if you haven't go check out that video but um, yeah, a lot of people like that variant, and a lot of people are still asking me if we can still get it, if it's ever going to come back, um, that type of deal. And I'm pretty sure it's going to come back. Reason being is, if they're coming, they're bringing back stuff from like Season 3 that I haven't even finished, apparently. Especially like this skin, I mean, you guys can definitely, if you guys haven't, definitely um, go do the co-op mission right now. It's going to be here till the next Tuesday, so I would definitely recommend it. If you're, gonna, if you're like a collector type person, I would definitely go recommend it. But uh, if they're going to keep doing stuff like this, that... Bison variant will for sure come back. I'm pretty sure it's gonna come back with all the other uh, weapons that we've gotten in the past few days. I just haven't been checking co-op recently, uh, but uh, since it is Tuesday, um, I decided to check and we did get a new mission for me personally. Um, and we got that new skin and stuff like that. And I'm glad he got a new skin. I just can't think of his name at the moment. But um, yeah, it's a cool skin. It's, it has all camos and stuff like that. Um, I'll obviously show footage right now of how it looks and everything like that. So you guys will see that. And then you guys will see gameplay of the mission throughout the video. Um, push it forward uh the modifiers they consist of um you guys can't there's no passive regen so quick fix isn't gonna work you guys can't use quick fix so if you guys don't know what quick fix does in co-op it's all the perks are gonna be different in co-op they they work differently but quick fix what it does um every person that you kill uh you passively regen health so that's why quick fix was nerfed in this particular mission um it's on the veteran mission that's how you unlock this um skin it's on the top one it should be the top first one and uh, yeah quick fix was nerfed for that deal so you guys should run eod because the reason being is there's also um another modifier basically uh they drop live grenades every time you kill them and the thing is if you run eod if you guys didn't know what eod does initially it doesn't say in the description but a lot of people do know this uh whenever you pick up the grenade it resets the timing on it so you guys can pick it up and then toss it somewhere else and it'll blow up somewhere else so that's usually what i do um, I would also run like three, four juggernauts or I mean three juggernauts as your munitions. Uh, if you guys don't know how to get munitions or like how to get uh, more points, all you guys gotta do is just play missions consistently. That's why I have like over 240k points and that's why I just ace every mission nowadays. I uh, can't do that co-op glitch anymore from what I know. But I'll see if I can find a new way. Um, not, I'm trying not to ex exploit the system or anything like that, but I'm pretty sure there'll be a new way eventually. Uh, but yeah, so we'll eventually see those in the upcoming few days. Also, we're going to be um, discussing if there's going to be new weapons. I don't know if they're going to be adding new weapons. I, I would hope for like a, 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 like like one of those new DLC guns. Like, not DLC guns. Like uh, the Finn LMG. Maybe like we get an LMG skin. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. They can. There's a lot you can do with co-op, but I don't know why it's, you know, it's so lackluster. Like, they can definitely update as much as they want. They can do a ton of things. I just don't know why they don't do it. But at the same time... Like I've talked to this about it, I talked about it in a previous video. They got to step up their game uh, for me to like, for other people, not just including me, but to stay in the game. Like a lot of people do like this game and stuff like that, but it's at its like ending point, And I feel like it's either they push out way too much content at the end or they're just really slow. Like they're barely, like today too, they barely released a new skin that I was talking about uh, for Morte. Um, he finally came out. It's like, where was he? Why didn't you guys release him at the beginning of summer games? You know what I mean? That would have been a cool dude because then lots of people, at least people can use him in the summer games. You know what I mean? Because they did advertise him and stuff like that. It's like, why are you guys releasing him? He, he has a cool outfit and everything like that. Um, his tracers and everything like that. It's really cool stuff. Red, white, and blue. I think it's red, white, and green. So uh, that's actually pretty cool for all those uh, people who look like the Italian colors. Um, 
me personally i was gonna buy it but then i looked at the finisher i was hoping for like a gun finisher but instead they gave him a bird finisher and i knew it was eventually gonna happen we were eventually once they released that first bird finisher that everybody got from the battle pass if they're gonna add bundles of it so now instead of dog finishers we're gonna get a bunch of bird finishers and then we're eventually gonna get another dog finisher because uh, a lot of people have been talking about like a hellhound finisher that's been leaked uh so we'll see when that comes out that reminds me of like zombies so it might be like a zombies type of bundle when there's gonna be a game mode relating to warzone because a lot of people said uh warzone's gonna get a game mode like at night time with zombies and i can see that happening and then the hellhound being released too so you guys can do hellhound finishers so we'll see but like i said um obviously you guys can go unlock this outfit right now you just gotta complete the mission it's pretty straightforward you guys just gotta kill people uh and they drop keys certain people drop keys like lieutenants you take those keys you guys go to a helicopter place pick up a helicopter um chase down a group of bad guys uh kill the two people behind them then they go to a, a police station at the police station make sure you just gotta kill everybody and then interrogate one of the lieutenants and then from there you guys have to go and and just stand at like these two stations and collect data uh for the rest of the mission then eventually a heli's gonna come out and you guys have to have like a juggernaut or like an rpg to get rid of it i recommend juggernauts that's why i'm saying like run three four or uh, three munitions that relate to juggernauts and you guys will ace this mission like nothing one for emergencies one for the ending and then one for uh the police station fight so pretty straightforward it's a basic setup uh class setup wise uh best perks i would recommend uh eod um hardline and i think tune up tune up so you guys can get your ability quicker and then also your role make sure you're medic so you guys can help by your team because there's no passive regen um but there is health packs that do drop uh whenever you kill somebody but at the same time you do have to worry about the live grenades that enemies drop as well so that's why the eod just counteracts that because you guys can pick that up and throw it so someone else can't you know so you guys don't die by that stuff so that's why i say that type of deal but um pretty straightforward mission it's you know you guys can take your time on it um um i did it with the random teammates as well so you guys can see how i feel like when i'm going through random teammates it's not like i you know use the full squad of teammates that i know uh, i just did it like how everyone else would experience if they're trying to do this with random people so that's what i did with random people um took me like a couple attempts but uh not too bad overall though um i don't know if they're gonna be adding new missions i they could it's it's really out there they could definitely go do that and stuff like that but i don't think it's happening anytime soon so we'll see but yeah that's gonna be it for the video guys uh you guys will obviously see gameplay and stuff like that in the background of me just like playing out through the mission so if you guys do need like assistance on what to do what to do you guys will see gameplay in the background of me just doing the complete mission um so yeah i showed you guys a class setup what you guys should do basically just run eod um you guys can run overkill for a riot shield on your back, but that's just up to your personal preference. And then make sure you are running stims, thermites, uh, EOD, um, hard, hardline, or um, overkill, and then tune up. And then whatever guns you guys like, doesn't matter. But uh, pretty straightforward. So yeah, that's going to be it. Make sure you do leave a like on this video. Make sure you do subscribe for more content like this, more info on like um, new guns, new skins that you guys can lock for free, and any that type of deal. And make sure you do turn on your notifications as well so you guys don't miss out on all the videos that come out in the future. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.